Here's why Pop Smoke was killed. The truth. Whoa, what's up, ma? Yo, your sound effects, your ad libs. Yeah. I'm here for all of it. Of course. The recent and tragic death of the latest Brooklyn sensation, Pop Smoke, shocked the world in more ways than one. Breakout Canarsi based artist Bashar Baraka Jackson, better known by his stage name, Pop Smoke, was a rugged new face in the hip hop scene whose style was reminiscent of another New York native, 50 Cent. Pop Smoke had just released his highly anticipated project, Meet the Wu 2, two weeks before he met his grisly demise on February 19th at around 4.30 a.m. The mixtape was a follow-up of his breakout venture, Meet the Wu, the original release that sent Jackson's career soaring to the top. Pop Smoke had been out late that night to spend a wild night in L.A. with his girlfriend and close friends. The attackers broke into his home shortly after he had returned. The untimely murder of Pop Smoke was initially thought to be home invasion gone wrong. While that theory held weight for some time, recent facts released by the Los Angeles Police Department indicate otherwise. Though the obvious signs of breaking and entering were prevalent throughout the crime scene, our sources tell us that key details revealed by the lead detectives on the case do not match typical home invasions, which foreshadows the fact that something more is at play. Pop Smoke was a well-liked, up-and-coming artist, having already received praise and recognition from the likes of heavy hitters such as Travis Scott, Quavo, Nicki Minaj, and many other top artists. His predecessors knew Jackson was on a metric rise to stardom. Coming from a rough neighborhood where his only options were either to give up or make a name for himself, Pop Smoke decided early that joining a gang would be the only way to improve his poor situation. Violence and bloodshed often followed the young Bashar Jackson as he made his way through his neighborhood. His tough life was a huge motivating factor that led him to create his unfortunately short career. Enjoying his new lavish lifestyle, Pop would flex his fame and fortune on social media as he was often seen posting pictures and videos of himself holding large stacks of cash or designer goods on his Instagram. While his life was cut way too short, Jackson himself may have unknowingly been the driving force that led to his tragic end. What could have motivated his assailants to send the ambitious Pop Smoke to an early grave? Was his social media flex enough to stir jealous rivals to action? Did his gang affiliation finally catch up to him? Or is there something deeper at play? Today here at Lime Report, we'll be diving deep into all the darkest secrets regarding the tragic loss of the late Pop Smoke. Be sure to watch until the end as we reveal the twisted reasons the Dior rapper was killed in cold blood. Remember to leave a like, subscribe, and comment keyword rest in peace smoke to enter our $100 Amazon gift card giveaway. When the news of Pop Smoke's death first broke, the world was thrown into shock and disbelief. How could a young star living in a prestigious Hollywood Hills lose his life in such a violent manner? In the beginning, many believed it to be the coincidental result of a random home invasion gone wrong. However, that explanation ignores too many of the most important facts, and as more details are released by the LAPD, that story is being derailed quickly. Surveillance, captured from the outside of the late rapper's Hollywood Hills home, shows three of the robbers at the front entrance as a fourth enters the home through the back door. Most alarming, though, is how quickly the attackers broke in, found Jackson, and unloaded on him, ending his young life. The attack was precise, executed within half of an hour, and footage even shows that the assailants did not appear to be taking anything from the home as they were leaving, further disproving the initial robbery theory. Why else would anyone break into a home other than to rob or kill? While grieving on social media, Pop Smoke's girlfriend mentioned in a caption that he had been extra cautious during the days leading up to his death. Is it possible that he was aware that he would soon be attacked? Despite being hailed as a blessing to work with, Pop Smoke's previous gang affiliation was nothing to be taken lightly, and he was known to hold grudges, a dangerous combination once he reached stardom. Near the end of last year, a video resurfaced of a young Bashar in an altercation with three rival gang members yelling, Chapao! as they slapped him after he had made known that he was a member of a gang set associated with the Crips. Seven years later, Pop Smoke found one of the three men who had had a hand in his incident and beat him senseless in a convenience store, screaming the same catchphrase as Jackson and his friends jumped him. Unsurprisingly, Pop Smoke had enemies who had a powerful motive and wished him dead. All that was left was the means to find him and put an end to him for good, which Pop Smoke accidentally provided on his own. A connoisseur of luxury goods, Pop loved to show off his purchases, and although that usually does no harm, one certain piece, a pair of Mike Amiri jeans that he had posted on social media, may have been the ultimate catalyst that caused his death. The jeans he posted revealed his address, in full, to everyone on Instagram with access to his story. Additionally, his best friend, Mike D, posted a few photos on Instagram shortly before Pop Smoke's death that showed his house number uncensored. Mistakes like these come at a terrible price for those associated with the underground world. Between the timing of the incident and the details coming out, nothing so far has added up to be a robbery.
During the early stages of the investigation, the attack seemed random. However, upon a closer look, the detectives began to realize the puzzle pieces didn't fit together. The timing of the robbery, homicide occurred less than an hour after Pop Smoke returned home from his night on the town, suggesting that the attackers were aware of his movements. Could this be an indication of an inside job? Many on social media believe so, accusing Mike D of setting Jackson up for the hit, an accusation he vehemently denied on IG, posting a picture of the pair as children, mourning the tragic loss of his dear friend. However, Mike D is an aspiring actor who already has multiple film credits under his belt. How hard could it be for him to play this part as the dust settles on Pop Smoke's death? Another report details how the home security system was not armed during the time of the assault, which led to a delayed response time from local law enforcement and medical, a fatal and highly coincidental mistake that may have very well cost Pop Smoke his life all on its own. Once the medical staff finally reached him, he was rushed to Cedar sinai Medical Center. However, doctors were unable to save him despite their best efforts. Coincidentally, Pop Smoke passed away at the same medical center New York legend Biggie Smalls was rushed through and eventually passed away after he was shot. He was pronounced dead just hours after he arrived. When all the facts are considered, the odds of Pop Smoke's death being the result of a bad robbery are poor. Pop Smoke greatly appreciated his time on the West Coast, but it was extremely apparent his gang lifestyle would be a part of him forever. In one instance, he was loaned a Rolls Royce during the filming of one of his music videos. However, rather than returning the vehicle, Jackson decided he liked the toy enough to ship it back home to Canarsie illegally. The company, of course, accused Bashar of theft. However, he maintained his innocence through the whole process. Rough encounters such as this harbor deep resentment, which can, in some instances, lead to an early grave. Considered in some aspects as the next 50 Cent, Bashar Jackson was at the forefront of Brooklyn's exploding drill movement, popularized originally by Chef G. Through the release of his Welcome to the Party and Dior tracks, Pop Smoke's illustrious sounds and style quickly established him as a leader among the new generation of New York artists. He was noticed by hip-hop giants almost immediately, with remixes being made to all of his hits, a nod that MCs can only dream of. His Meet the Woo mixtapes quickly became samples in his hometown of Brooklyn, and as his notoriety rose, his fans demanded more in the form of live performances, leading him to plan his Meet the Woo tour that would have kicked off this month had it not been for his passing. Many assumed Pop Smoke would be hailed as the King of New York, a title typically reserved for names like the notorious B.I.G. and Jay-Z. His success was so prominent, his sophomore mixtape already landed the number seven spot on the Billboard 200 chart, putting him in the company of Roddy Rich. Post Malone and Lil Wayne. Panamanian and Jamaican, the young MC brought a fresh new perspective that New York hip hop hadn't seen the likes of in years by teaming up with London's 808 Mellow to create his Brooklyn Drill. There have also been rumors swirling of a collaboration album with Quavo that the two were in the middle of working on before Pop's untimely demise. There, though, he rose to fame with ease. Pop Smoke wasn't always on the path to become the legend that he created. Originally, he had dreams of becoming a great basketball player, a goal that he could have easily accomplished had it not been for a heart murmur he was diagnosed with, ending his high school basketball career early. Pop Smoke always lived a wild and unpredictable lifestyle. From the gang life to the turbulent basketball career, he was even under house arrest for two years during his short life for a gun charge he faced from the eighth grade. Rough on the edges, Pop Smoke was a man for the people. His desire to make music sprung from his desire to inspire kids in similar situations as his. Bashar Jackson was only 20 years old at the time of his passing. His family plans to bury him back near their home in Canarsie at the historic Greenwood Cemetery, South. Many artists publicly mourned his death the morning the news broke. Chance the rapper wrote, Rest up, Pop Smoke. You were too young. God bless and comfort your family. What a crazy trajectory you were on, man. SMH. As a condolence to his family. Many others followed suit, including 50 Cent, who has voiced his desire to help finish the late rapper's unreleased album. As in traditional Pop Smoke style, he died while still in trouble with the law, having been arrested in New York's John F. Kennedy Airport, accused of transporting a Rolls-Royce Wraith across state lines while knowing said motor vehicle to have been stolen. While we still don't know who is responsible for the tragic death of Bashar, aka Pop Smoke, we certainly know why he was killed. The jealousy of his enemies couldn't be contained and one mistake mixed with bad blood led to his untimely death. Who do you think killed Pop Smoke? Was it really just a horrible planned home invasion? Was Pop Smoke taken out by a targeted hit? Most importantly, who from within his camp was leaking information to his opposition? Thank you so much for watching Lime Report. Tell us what you think in the comment section and remember to leave a like, subscribe, turn on notifications, and comment keyword rest in peace smoke 
for a chance to win our $100 Amazon gift card giveaway. If you had a dog, your dog would love that. <laughs> no. <laughs> like, if I play him, if I play that little clip. Serious of- XM Hip Hop Nation, we are back. Here is the culture chat, man. I got the fashion icon here. What, what's, what's going with the drip?